Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to troubleshoot Wi-Fi issues with your iMac, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air or any MacBook that you have. I work for a company where a lot of people call saying that they can't connect to the Wi-Fi and they have a limited connection. So in this video you're going to see how to look for the common things that fixes the problem. Uh, first thing that you have wireless adapter in your computer and you do that by going here system preference and then you go to network on the third row and if you see this option here or the symbol here it should say Wi-Fi or airport or whatever it shows now the biggest issues that we have that we encounter is that they do see the Wi-Fi but there's an exclamation mark here when it shows that it's connected to the network and it's still and it's not allowing to go to the internet. Uh, the troubleshooting that I do is I uh, make sure that it shows connected and then I go to advanced and go to this section here. Uh, you want to make sure that it's set up as DHCP that means that your computer is getting IP address from your router automatically and if you don't see the 192 starting IP address then we have a problem and the problem is usually notated by the screen here by showing another IP address that starts at 169 dot whatever whatever and if you do that the first thing that you could try is you could renew the, the DHCP lease to try to get a new IP address if it still shows 169 and you still have the exclamation mark point uh, issue here then we gotta move on to another step and the next step would be is with the uh, wireless adapter I usually remove it add it again Wi-Fi create then I go top in here turn it off turn it back on and See if that works now if it connects great if it doesn't if it does connect you still having the same problem uh, the other thing that I do is I go back to advanced and then I go to Wi-Fi and this is the SSID or the network name you could choose the one that belongs to you and remove it by hitting this minus sign here and that means that you removed it it's no longer there hit OK. So what's gonna happen is when you once you turn it off, turn it back on, it's not gonna connect automatically, but what you do is you go and choose your network and it's gonna ask you for the password. You enter the password and it should connect. Now if you do all of those steps and you still can't connect <clears throat> then we have to do one more step and that is connecting the computer directly to your modem hardwired with an ethernet cable and on the back of the modem there should be or the router there should be ethernet ports you run into your computer connect it and this option should light up <clears throat> with an IP address just like this one and if you do see the IP address then you want to go back to advanced TCP IP and you go to router this is the information that you need you copy it because we're gonna do something else with that you go open your web browser and open a new window and then paste that information in there this is gonna get you to the login or the interface of your router or modem and if your Wi-Fi is provided by your wireless provider this information may be different but if you have a personal router and you don't know how to log in or how to get the password you don't know the password then you could do a Google search and just search for router, router passwords go to this website first link says routerpasswords.com uh, choose your router 
find password and then username and password will be shown in here and if you don't see your model you could try and see if this combination work for you if not you could just do a direct search like I have a neck gear R7000 and then password and then Google sometimes will give it to you and, and stuff like that so once you get that you log in uh, with Wi-Fi the only thing that I do is uh, my interface is different maybe different than yours but I go to advanced and or wherever you see wireless section or the wireless option and you want to select that the first thing that you want to change is your wireless channel uh, channel is pretty much the the channel that the uh, frequency chose to be transmitted on and it's usually automatic I don't like automatic because it, it switches randomly <clears throat> and you don't know precisely when it's gonna change and if that channel is congested uh, there's applications out there that you could scan for all your networks around you and which channel everybody's on uh, the top channels to use on this frequency on the 2.4 will be channel 1 6 and 11 and there's two frequencies because it's a dual band modem and it's a difference between the two I'm not gonna go too much details about it here this is just troubleshooting for the Wi-Fi uh, what I like to do is I either change it to channel 1 hit apply and and then once the changes are applied go back try to connect and see if it works and the reason why you want to change that is because channel is the option that most of the time affects your service or your wireless service and the way I could explain that is um, the more Wi-Fi channels around the more Wi-Fi connections around you and if they are on the same channel it's gonna create a, a lot of uh, interruptions and you don't want that to happen so you want to change the channel to something stable and additionally what I do is to make sure that my internet service provider is giving me all the information that I need I always go to uh, back to the main screen or let's see if I remember what it was there you go um, you want to make sure that the IP address from your service provider is showing up in here if it is that means that you have service and also you want to make sure that your local IP address is showing here with DHCP on if you see all of that and change the Wi-Fi uh, channel then that's pretty much all the troubleshooting you could do additionally you could restart the computer restart the router unplug it 10 seconds plug it back in and see if that works and that's pretty much Wi-Fi troubleshooting 101 if you have any questions leave your comments below and thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel